I guess I'll just call the doctor. Where's my phone at? I'll go find it. Uh, yes, doctor. Can you come to my house? I'm very sick. Uh, my address is 81015 Northeast Buffalo. Hey, yes, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doc. I'm the one who called. I feel so sick. I'll be the judge of that. Let me just take your temperature. Feel your forehead. Oh, man. You are burning up. I'll go... I'm gonna take a blood sample and then I'll get your test results, okay? Okay, just hurry up. Ugh. Oh wow, that's not good. Well, you see, it looks like your blood is clear with a little hint of red. And, um, hmm, I don't know how to say this, but that means you're gonna die in 24 hours. Really? No, 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 I have so much to live for. I'm sorry, but. Um, I will be at your funeral. Bye. Well, it looks like when I go to sleep, I'll be up there or down there. I just really hope I'm up there. Hmm. Okay, with no one around, I just want to say this. Junior, you were the best son. You have shown me what it's like to have a son. Bowser, you showed me what it's like to have a father. And Junior and your friends, you're the best people I could ask for. I just wanted to say that with no one around. Alright? Now, looks like I'm gonna be in heaven tomorrow, so I'm gonna miss everybody. Bye. <sighs> Chef Blake? Chef Blake? Chef Blake? No, no, no. No, he can't be dead. No, he can't be dead. Watch TV. Dad, Dad, Chipley died. I tried to save him, but I couldn't. He just died. Really? No! When's his funeral? I think it's tomorrow. I'm gonna invite everybody that we know. Okay. I'll go get ready. Okay, me too. Chef Blake asked Junior to say some words at his funeral. Wait, what? Oh, well, looks like I'm up. Um, I don't really know what to say because I had no idea that he would have asked me that. So I'm just going to speak from my heart. Chef Blake was a nice, kind, understanding, and caring person. He understood when I was sad and why I was sad after I told him. He always he was always there for me when I needed him. Even though my dad kind of uh, almost tortured him to cook for him, I think he still had good life on this earth with us. So let's all just bow our heads in silence for Chef Blake. Now, I would like to ask the doctor who had to break the news to Chef Blake that he was gonna die to come up here and say a few words. Doctor?
I don't really know what to say, um, all I do know what to say is it broke my heart to have to tell him that cause I'm the one who told him that he was gonna die and it broke my heart. So I just wanna say Chef Blake, I'm sorry that I was the one that had to tell you that and I hope you're living a better life than you, uh, than you were. Say something. Alright. <clears throat> Even though I asked a lot of Chef Blake, he was still my second favorite person. My first favorite person is my son. Chef Blake was like a son to me, and I'm sure he thought of me as his father. I just wanted to say that. Thank you. I hope you all have a good day, and this is not a day to be sad, but it's also a day to be happy, because you can imagine what good life he's living right now. Thank you. Hmm. Junior, what's wrong? Well, dude, I mean, other than you being sad that Jeff Lake is dead, what's wrong? Guys, I just wish I could tell him that that all three of us thought of him as a father, and I hope he thought of us as sons. Yeah, me too. Hey, what's going on, guys? I, I just want to say this at the end of the video, because you may have realized that I was crying in the video. That was because I had to force myself to cry to make the effect of Junior being sad that Chef Blake died real. Also, the reason that I made this video is because Chef Blake is not going to be in any more videos because he's just hard to play by myself with two characters, like like a scene where Junior and Chef Blake are talking. It's just hard to do that. So I made this video, so he's not going to be in any more videos. So I just wanted to say that. Hope you all have a good day and enjoy the video.